Last week I did a video where I pulled the two middle tubes on my Marshall DSL 100 and compared it to the stock mode to basically listen out for any differences that that might create. Now, some of you do know that I've also got a Marshall DSL 50 sitting around here. So what I've done in this video is compare the stock Marshall DSL 100 the Marshall DSL 100 with two of the tubes pulled and the Marshall DSL 50. So full disclaimer, the DSL 100 is just using stock Marshall tubes. I've never changed them. I haven't actually played an amp that much, so there's not a whole lot of wear. I still think it sounds pretty good. I just had that amp re-biased as well, so it should be sounding fine. The DSL 50 though has a set of JJ tubes in it, uh, obviously the smaller transformer and the fact that it's only running at 50 watts, so it definitely sounds different and I think while I was doing this, one of the tubes is starting to go a little bit microphonic, so there's a little bit of extra noise there. What I've done is run all of them into my Fractal X load, which has loaded it down, gone straight to my Apollo Twin, into my DAW. I've loaded up an impulse response that I made of a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker using an SM57, Royal 121, and Sennheiser 421 blend. I think it's a really good balanced sounding IR. And you're listening to it in a mix with some Stephen Slate drums. I'm using one of the Chris Lord Algae kits. And I played a Music Man bass direct into the Sans Amp plugin in Pro Tools. All sounds like this. Check it out. If you enjoy the video, please hit subscribe. See you next time.